Now I'm going to create a custom child theme for my WordPress. Right now my WordPress is in a subdirectory called child theme. Back in my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to go to appearance and choose themes. These three themes are the default ones that come with WordPress and they're the ones that I currently have installed. You can see that by going inside of WP content and then themes. And there's my three folders that correspond to the three themes that you see here. I'm going to create a new folder and call this 2015-child. 2015 will be the parent theme and 2015 child will be my custom theme. Here in codex.wordpress.org slash child underscore themes is the documentation for properly setting up a child theme. All you really need to do is create a style.css and a functions.php file and put them inside of your child theme folder. We need to copy the style sheet header here inside of our style.css file. Let's create that file now. Here in brackets, I'm going to create a new file and save it as style.css. Fill out all of the information in the style sheet header according to the theme that you are using. Now let's create the functions.php file so that we can properly enqueue the parent CSS to our child theme and then paste in the function. Be sure to first add the opening PHP line here left angle bracket question mark PHP and then paste in the function. Now let's upload these files to our child theme folder in our file manager. With these two files added, all we have to do now is go back to our dashboard and refresh our themes page to see our theme. And there we go. It's missing a cover, so let's add one. Adding a cover is easy. Just make sure that it's a PNG file and that it's called screenshot.png. Now that we've added our cover, let's go back and refresh the themes page one more time. Now we have the beginnings of our very own custom theme. So here's our site as it is currently, but remember that we enqueued the parent CSS to our child theme. So let's activate our child theme. And when we refresh the page, as you can see, nothing's changed. We've now created a copy of the parent theme with just this little bit of code right here. Now we can customize our child theme. I'm going to open up the style sheet here just using the code editor built into the file manager. Now I'm going to add some CSS styles. I'll change the body color text to red and I'll give it a green background. hit save and then refresh the home page okay let's look at this in Chrome Inspector I'm going to right click and choose inspect element we can see that I have this h1 heading here and it has a custom class called entry dash title I can click this plus sign over here in the CSS panel as you can see, there's the h1 heading and the dot entry dash title custom class. I'm going to change the color to blue. 
and I'll give it a different background color as well. Now all I have to do is copy that CSS and paste it into my style sheet. Back to the front page and refresh and you can see that the style took. Let's do that one more time. This time I'll choose this div with the ID sidebar. Again, I'll copy that code and place it in my style sheet. After we refresh, and again the CSS took. 